Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing awesome today. I have a special video coming to you from me personally and showing you what my OBS settings are. OBS is completely free, so I will leave a link in the description where you can go and get that and check it out. Okay, so you have the software, now what do you do? Once it's installed, you are going to need to tweak your settings to match your computer build and internet speed. That is a huge thing when messing around with OBS that I have been learning. I'm slowly still kind of tweaking my settings and getting used to. Under encoding in the video encoding section, make sure both use CBR and enable CBR padding are checked. Twitch recommends your max bitrate be 3300 or 80% of your upload throughput, whichever is lower. To find your upload throughput, do an upload test, which will be in the description, which will give you your upload speed in megabits per second. Multiply the number by 1000 to get your upload speed in kilobits per second. If the number is lower than 3300, enter it in the max bitrate box. Next, we're dealing with your audio encoding section. Twitch recommends using an AAC codec with a bitrate of 64 to 128 kilobytes per second. All right, next step is dealing with your video. As you can already tell, I do not have the best graphics card by any means. Mine is super old and does not run very well. But your video adapter should be set to your default graphics card. If you have multiple, choose the one you're playing your game on. The base resolution should be the native resolution of your monitor. If you have more than one monitor, choose the monitor you'll be playing the game on. The resolution downscale is an angel. It can be set to downscale your monitor's resolution to an output at a lower resolution feed. A lower resolution means less bandwidth. If your max bitrate from the encoding section is low, I definitely recommend you use this feature. Just some tips I have, the filter should be bilinear, frames per second should be 30, and arrow should always be enabled. All right, those are just a few of my tips for how to get started on streaming. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you'd like to see another video on trying to get started streaming, getting your scenes set up, all that good stuff, I will make another video. Just let me know. Remember to like this video because it was a lot of work to make because talking is not my virtue. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next video and thank you so much for stopping by.